yo welcome to my youtube channel and thank you for tuning in please follow me on my socials i'm on instagram at ndutugumdima and i'm also on twitter at dclanters please smash the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a new video now with that aside let's get into the video today my video is about the top six things that could get your youtube channel banned from youtube that is a scary thought yes you can get banned by youtube if you're going to fail to adhere to the youtube policies and the community guidelines i would outline all those guidelines and what they mean to you as a youtuber and your channel so here's the first thing that you need to understand youtube reserves the right to suspend or ban your youtube channel for any reason so as a new youtuber the last thing you want is for you to find yourself having banned from youtube because of one violation that you probably were not aware of or you were aware of the thing is that you need to understand about law is that it does not care about your ignorance of the law you ought to know what is right and what is wrong YouTube builds a community and it wants to make sure that the community that YouTube is building is always safe and protected. Here's another thing that you also need to understand is that every time you upload a video on YouTube, your videos get reviewed by human beings, not by the algorithm, but by human beings so that they can pick up where you are violating any rules of the YouTube platform. So if you don't want to find yourself banned from YouTube, it is vital, I cannot emphasize this enough, that you must sit down and read and understand all the YouTube policies, the community guidelines, everything that has to do with YouTube, read it. I know that the documents that they send are very lengthy, but it's to your benefit. Don't just ignore and and then find yourself making content that violates YouTube policies. So what are these violations? Then the first one that I'm going to mention is not necessarily a violation, but more what the YouTube algorithm picks up from your content and decide if this video, it is commercially viable or commercially unviable. Is it unviable? Remember I mentioned before that the YouTube algorithm's main goal is to make YouTube money. So if your YouTube videos are not commercially viable, it makes no sense for, the YouTube, for YouTube to keep your videos because keeping your videos on the platform is expensive for YouTube. So when you make videos or content, make sure that your content and your videos are commercially viable content. That's where you are safe from having your videos and including your channel being ignored by YouTube and subsequently getting deleted or banned from YouTube. Number two, copper. This one is a very serious violation on the YouTube platform. You could find yourself in hot waters with the United States federal government and as a result, you find yourself sued by YouTube itself. So this one can be a double whammy for you where YouTube sues you and at the same time bans you. Now, copper is purpose is to protect children from harmful, harmful material on the platform or anything that YouTube deems to be inappropriate for children. For example, you create videos and then you have children playing in the background that YouTube can consider to be a content created for children. So whenever you create a video and in the video is adult based, and by adult based, I don't mean uh, pornography or anything that has to do with nudity or anything that is inappropriate for children. Have, if you're gonna shoot a video, make sure there are no children around you and visible in the, in the video as well. Every time you upload a video on YouTube, there's a provision where you have to mark your videos to say whether your video, it is made for children or not made for children. If your content is not made for children, make sure that you 
you click no it's not made for children you save and you are safe as a youtuber if you do not mark your videos whether they are made for children or not i think you get sued forty five thousand five hundred dollars in south african terms that could be millions of rands if not a million rand so if you don't want to find yourself sued by youtube mark your videos whether they are made for children or not made for children and that's where you comply with the copper law now the disadvantage about creating content made for children unfortunately you are not going to make money on youtube because advertisers they don't go where the money is not at they go where the money is at if that makes any sense so it makes sense for you as a youtuber that when you create content is content that is consumed by adults people that actually go and buy things that is why you see adverts running along monetized channels that basically mean that content it is made for adults and therefore advertisers they come and they place adverts on that video or channel speaking of adult content which leads me to point number three if your videos promote hate speech bad language racism homophobia tribalism and anything that youtube deems to be uh, harmful to your channel and therefore rendering your channel to be commercially unviable then you're going to find yourself in trouble with youtube again let me remind you every time you create content make sure that your content is commercially viable for example my videos i don't use bad language i don't promote hate i don't promote racism homophobia or cyberbullying I talk all things YouTube and therefore my videos potentially has a chance of being monetized and as a result I make money so that is exactly what I'm talking about that when you create a YouTube video keep it clean point number four and this one is extremely important after copper avoid and do not listen to youtubers that advise you to ask for sub for sub in order for your youtube channel to grow that is against the youtube policy youtube if you do this practice youtube will definitely definitely ban your channel i have come across people who say in order for you to grow your youtube channel you you, you have to go uh, to big youtube channels and comment and ask for sub for sub that practice is extremely dangerous for your youtube channel now why is it dangerous for your youtube channel remember youtube's business is to make money and if you're going to go into a big youtuber's uh comment section and then you ask for sub for sub yeah you may get other youtubers especially new youtubers sub subscribing to your channel as much as you're going to subscribe to their youtube channels but here's the, the dilemma you let's say your channel let's say your channel grows to about 5,000 subscribers through sub for sub but the problem is because you guys were asking each other to subscribe to each other's channels and when the other subs uh, and when the other youtuber uploads videos chances of you watching their videos is next to nothing same goes with the person that you were sub that they that you subscribe to their channel for them to subscribe to yours when you upload new videos you don't get views now remember money comes where there are views so youtube frowns upon sub for sub and therefore it will cancel your channel altogether it is a very serious violation according to youtube policy I know as a new youtuber it is attractive for sub for sub because you think it's a fast way of growing your channel but it's actually dangerous so in a nutshell never ask for sub for sub from other youtubers don't end of story number five cyber bullying cyber bullying comes in many forms I know that some I know that some social media platforms they don't take cyberbullying very seriously and that is why it is so rampage in other social media youtube 
does not play games when it comes to cyberbullying. As a YouTuber, try to mind your own business and if you are a channel that does gossip or entertainment where you talk about other people, make sure that you have done your research and everything that you bring to YouTube, it is all factual. But where there are no facts, it's better to use a legal term allegedly, allegedly, that way you are still safe. YouTube's purpose is to make money not to create enemies because of your content. The last but not least, number six, copyright. This is another big one for YouTube. Do not, I repeat, do not use anything that is copyrighted. Whether it's music, especially popular music, I have seen new YouTubers unknowingly using popular music as their background music or as the intro music or music that just plays um, in their videos and as a result YouTube flags that uh, video to have a copyright strike. YouTube gives you three strikes before it bans your channel. So you can't afford even one strike for copyright on your channel. Believe you me when I tell you because when they review your channel for monetization, this plays a role and it could actually uh, have your channel rejected for monetization. Rather, don't have music on your channel, on your videos, unless if it is your own music. If you create your own music, then you are safe. But there are as, um, music providers out there, such as Epidemic Sounds. No, I'm not sponsored by them or affiliated to them. But I'm just giving you an example. Epidemic Sounds and others, they provide uh, non-copyrighted music that you can utilize. So do your research on that one. But my advice to you, just avoid using music on your videos. If you do want to use music, then do it the right way where your channel is not going to be flagged for copyright violations. When you shoot a video, make sure that your next door neighbor is not playing music because YouTube has no way of telling whether it is you who is using the music or the music is coming from outside. Close all the windows and or go into a quiet spot and then shoot a video. That way you don't get music coming from outside into your video and then it gets flagged for copyright. Whenever you sit down to shoot a video, make sure that your background has nothing that can be deemed by YouTube to be copyrighted. So please make sure that you read and understand all YouTube policies, especially the community guidelines. So thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below and let me know which guidelines that you probably did not understand and you need a further explanation or what are your fears about the guidelines that I just outlined for you or anything related to YouTube. We got to have each other's backs, especially at this time when we have this global crisis that I want you to avoid and avoid the unemployment line at the end of this global crisis. Please stay informed by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to click the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. And please don't forget to share my video far and wide so more people who are interested in starting their own YouTube channels, they get to know what they are allowed, what they are allowed to post on YouTube and what not allowed on YouTube. I look forward in seeing you again in my next upload. Goodbye.